everybody and welcome, I am the Ground and Glasgow favorite Iron Ball Holy PokeTuber off this channel and today, today I am here as your coach of the Lola Nido Queens in the Alola International Season 1. Oh, it's about time. We, uh, for the people who did see the draft uh, analysis for the Alola International, uh, we already know what the team is. Uh, so I'm not gonna go over that. Fuck you. And I am actually going to go over our first matchup for this week. In week one of the Alola International, we face off against Lady Emma Sky. Um, she has a pretty scary draft. Um, and I'm going to go over it right now. And you will also see it on the side. So her team consists of Magirna, Mega Venusaur, Latias, Escadrill, Tyranitar, Slowbro, Scrollipede, Hitmarlee, Manibus. Um... Electros and Licky Licky. Um, her Z captain of her team is gonna be Magirna. Uh, and the team is really scary. If you go over the team uh, one by one, we have a Magirna, which is pretty offensive, can maybe be life or A Z crystal from a Magirna can't hurt because it's very diverse. Uh, Mega Venusaur bulky as always. Um, it can be bulky, can be offensive, can be mixed maybe. Maybe we'll, we'll knock off Earthquake, something along those lines. Latias can be a great life orb user, a scarfer, maybe even a bulky wish passer. I potentially see it running Colberberry this week, but you never know. I predict Colberberry. Uh, she has a Sandcorn, and Excadrill Tyranitar. Uh, both are very scary. Excadrill and the Sandors can pretty much uh, do work to our team. Tyranitar can potentially set up Sand and Rocks. Uh, it doesn't need to be. Also, Tyranitar can come to just run a nerf. Uh, Slowbro forms a pretty nice defensive core of Mega Venusaur right there. Uh, can be uh, toxic stalling, can be uh, call mining, it can be offensive as well. So, the Ottoman is Colopede to pick up some nice speed right there. It can be used as a baton passer, uh, can some spikes, can set up toxic spikes. Um, for, uh, mostly, it's going to use probably baton passes, speed passes, things like Magirna, uh, maybe even uh, Hitmonlee, I'm not sure. Speaking of Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee is also a member on the squad which can maybe provide spin for a team as well. Uh, it pairs, uh, so we see has two spinners right now and two defoggers if we look at the team. Uh, Hitmonlee can be pretty scary with a, um, with a normal gem fake out, uh, which also triggers its unburden ability which makes it twice as fast. Uh, we have Mandibus, which can also do pretty much some defensive walling, uh, pairing with Slower and Venusaur, which is pretty nice. Uh, also a Defogger. Then she has Licky Licky, which is an Assault Fest user. Um, Assault Fest user is mostly commonly uh, maybe three attacks like Full Switch, Flamethrower, Giga Drain, maybe Knock Off. But I wonder what she can bring up with that, so I'm pretty one. Uh, I'm pretty scared of that as well. And she has a Licky Licky, which can be a cleric with Wish and Heal Bell. Uh, it can hit pretty hard. It's also pretty bulky, so we have a tough matchup for us. Just in case, for the people who didn't watch it, our team consists of Mega Blastoise, Bisharp, Gengar, Shaman, and, uh, Blastoise, Bisharp, Gengar, Shaman, Conqueror, Dragonite, Espeon, Rotom Heat, uh, I mean Gardevoir, Rotom Heat, Ninoqueen, Klefki, and Suicune, and our team captain is Dragonite. So, you see already some, uh, some, uh, some members on the squad right here. Uh, I'll go over the EV spreads that I did, I will go over the moves that I, uh, that I have for this, and as that's going to be the team builder pretty much. So, as an opening, we have our mascot, Nidoqueen of the Lola Nidoqueen, starting off the week 1 for us. Uh, it's holding a life with Sheer Force ability, rocking Earth Power, Thunderbolt, Sucker Punch, and Stealth Rock. Um, it runs 76 HP, 104 attack, 148 special attack, 8 special defense, 172 speed. So. Earth Power and Thunderbolt are most likely the coverage that we are going to run with versus her. Because looking at her team, Earth Power has pretty much everything for uh, neutral or super effective. Uh, except the Mandibus and the Latias uh, and the Electros. Uh, Thunderbolt pretty much hits uh, mo mo more the things like Mandibus, like Slowbro, so we don't get walled. And for things like Electros, Latias, we probably have some other stuff. But speaking of Latias... We want Sucker Punch this week to maybe figure out this item, because if it really is Colbert or Scarf or whatnot, then we can at least figure it out. I'd roll for Dick Colber, so Sucker Punch is maybe not that good. Uh, I could also bring Bisharp, um, 
but I don't know about Bisharp because I'm afraid of the HP fighting, which could pro probably Oko. And with a Cobra Berry, it can live a Sucker Punch and will blow us back. So Sucker Punch with 104 attack is enough to potentially two hit KO a uh, normal Latios, which you see, which runs Roost, the Defog, and whatnot. And also, we run Stealth Rock right now. Uh, Stealth Rock is just to gate on Hazards and force him to spin or Defog uh, at that rate. So. Um, that way we can also get up hazards and maybe do some chip damage towards mods that have a sash like Scolipede. We can hit Mandibuzz every time. We can hit also um, Venusaur for some chip damage because I see a lot of switching happening in this uh, in this week. Uh, so the next mod we have come up right now is Gibson the Rotom Heat. Rocking Leftovers with Levitate ability but Overheat, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave and Protect. Uh, 240 HP. Uh, 12 defense, 4 special attack, and 252 special defense. So, we rock overheat, volt switch, just as overall stab. Overheat hits pretty much everything. Uh, even though it's resisted, we can also volt switch out of there. It's gonna be a specially defensive wall for this week. Uh, we want Thunder Wave to slow things down, like maybe Tyranitar, Latios, uh, Hitmonlee, Scolipede. Um, Magirna can even be slowed down because Magirna is a really scary mon. Oh, I forgot about. By the way, I forgot to mention, the 172 in speed with the hasty nature right now on Nidoqueen is enough to outspeed um, Timid Max Speed Magirna. So that was uh, the reason why I run 172 in speed. So we have uh, 252 special defense, 12 defense, and 4 special attack. It's not there particularly for a reason, just the overall EVs that we have left after we uh, rounded down the HP. Uh, Thunder Waves to slow things down and protect us to gain leftovers recovery. Maybe even check if a mod is scarfed or not. Uh, like, for example, uh, Extra Drill can come and without Tyranitar, I maybe run even Scarf. Uh, I do see if you go Sand Rush, he can go Animate Nature with Life Orb, which is pretty scary. Um, so I do see that potentially happening. And also, um, this also forces her to actually use Heal Bell on some mods to actually get the Paralysis off to make it work. So that's pretty much Rotom Heat, pretty standard, but I think it can work. And then the third Pokemon right here is Hawkthorn the Shaman, holding leftovers with Natural Cure with Seed Flare, Leech Seed, Rest Protect, rocking 252 HP, 236 Defense, and 20 Special Defense. Um, the 236 Defense right here is enough to actually take on Excadrill. Uh, it's enough to take up Escrigo, any variant pretty much, uh, mostly Adamant, Jolly we can actually Leech Seed and Protect on that as well, and then maybe even Seed Flare. Uh, we have Protect right here just in case he brings Excisor. Uh, Excisor is a 2 with KO on Shaman, uh, but we can Protect that off, um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the 236 defense right here is the same as running 252 defense to take on extra drill. So we actually rounded that down to special defense to take maybe some better hits from mods like Venusaur, Magirna, Latios, um, maybe even Electros if needed. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. So that's pretty much Hawkthorn, our extra drill switching. And the fourth Pokemon right here is Lilith the Gengar, which we decided on. Rocking a life over Curse Body. Rocket Shadow Ball, Psychic, Focus Blast, and Destiny Bond. Rocket 28 HP, 88 Defense, 196 Special Attack, 196 Speed. This is pretty... An odd EV spread right here. And I'm pretty proud of this because I did a lot of calcing for this match. And I'm really think because this is a tough matchup, we can actually manage to pull something off. So I put everything out. Uh, currently we rock 28 HP and 88 defense to take on Tyranitar if we stay in because and when I see Tyranitar coming I uh, expect Tyranitar to be Pursuit Trapper mostly because we have mods like Gengar uh, which are weak to his dark type moves and Pursuit actually doesn't Oko it actually prevents the Oko right here uh, so we can hit it back with a Focus Blast. Um, the reason why I have 196 in speed is to outspeed, um, I believe it is to outspeed, what was it? I believe it was enough to outspeed Latios and max speed, I believe. I believe it was that. And we have Shadow Ball, which is pretty much a lot. The things that don't get hit uh, super effectively with Shadow Ball get hit by Focus Blast. And Psychic is just overall there to hit um, Mons like... Um, Mostly Venusaur and Scolipede. 
Uh, we do uh, lack some super effective hits towards the... Uh, what is his name? Towards the uh, Mendeboss right here. Focus Blast is neutral. We also don't hit the Magana that hard, but I feel like Gengar is just here to come late game and clean up. Um, the fourth, po uh, the fifth Pokemon on the squad right here um, is actually gonna be Suicune. It's gonna be a Rest Talk, Calm Mind Suicune, pretty standard set. I can left those with called Calm Mind Rest, Sleep Talk with 236 HP, 112 Defense, 60 Special Defense, and 100 is Speed with a Bold Nature. Uh, with 100 is Speed, we actually are enough to outspeed a uh, modest. Um, Magirna, because Magirna caps out with her speed at 117 and max speed modest, so that's why we want 100 speed. 60 special defense is just what we had left pretty much. Uh, I wanted to gain some more bulk to if we take on Mega Venusaur because 236 HP combined with 60 special defense after one call mine is enough to take maximum of 30% from a Venusaur, so you can pretty much count down what is gonna happen if you're gonna set up a few couple of times with call mine. L112 defense right here is uh, to take on potentially extra drill that comes in. So we gain some leftovers recovery back and he can earthquake us, which we'll probably do around 60%, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we can strike it back with a scald if needed, so we can at least take it on. I um, think this Suicune can come in handy um, if we get the chance to set up. It's pretty much game. Um, I don't know how the battle is going to go, but I see Suicune put a lot of effort in when the... Um, Latios is gone to get actually with Psy Shock and if Electros probably is is gone if it actually comes. If it is coming, I do, don't expect um, um, Suicune to take the Electros on. But on the other hand, when those things are gone, I see a clear path for Suicune to actually call mine up as Sweet potentially. It's gonna take a while though because Skull doesn't hit actually pretty everything, but it le uh, does hit a lot. And the last Pokemon right here, which is very hard to decide on, I sat down a long time for this and we actually swapped out 3 to 4 months already. I uh, wanted to bring Blastoise Mega just because it has a nice couple advantages over the team uh, with this multiple moves that it can learn like Dark Pulse, Aura Swear, Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse, all those kind of stuff. Um, and we actually, I wanted to run Spin just so if he does bring, if she does bring Spin, we don't get actually pretty much walled to just to get in a sentence of that we only have rocks on our side, so that's pretty much it. I also had Bishop on the team, but I was afraid that actually Bishop didn't have that good of a matchup if he brings in these cards to Renatar and whatnot. The Slowbro walls us, and Mendemus can pretty much run Rocky Helmet, so a Life Orb uh, on Bishop would pretty much not work here. And then actually the last member we actually came up with is Dragonite, Sephira the Dragonite, which is supposed to be female. And with double P. Sephira the Dragonite. Holding leftovers, rocking the multi skill ability, rocking Aerials, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Substitute. Uh, there was played around, around a lot with this set. Um, we actually decided, uh, we had first on paper, we had Fly in MZ with Fly, Roost, Dragon Dance, Earthquake. Uh, no, Aerial Ace, Fly, no, so, Jesus Christ. Fly, Dragon Dance, Substitute, and Roost. Uh, to take on Mega Venusaur pretty much and if a mod had protect so it wouldn't stall us out and whatnot so we fly up they protect and we can hit it and so on so on. Substitute is a move that actually if you force a switch we can have the multi skill intact after some time and the multi skill uh, substitute is actually gonna be a hit of 59% needed to break instead of 25 which is which is great. Uh, Dragon Dance is just to set up and potentially sweep but we actually decided on Aerios Earthquake because at plus one Aerio Ace can two hit KO. Earthquake can take on Magirna at plus one because we can do... Uh, we can almost Oka with at plus one. That's why we want 69 attack. We have 36 special defense just to rock out with it. And 148 uh, is there to actually get some bit more HP so we can sub up a bit more. We can also lift a Rock Slide from Tyranitar and extra drill, Not after each other, but one of them. And 22, 28 speed after plus one is enough to actually outspeed her entire team outside of sand. Um, just to prepare, just in case if she doesn't bring sand extra drill, we can pretty much outspeed it. Um, we don't know speed scarf extra drill, so we probably need to watch out for that. But we have Shaman straight up for this, and that's pretty much the team build right here. So this is the team that's actually going to take on Lady Emma Sky in week one. 
The battle is going to be um, tomorrow, which is probably going to be Saturday. So, I wanted to you to stay tuned for that. And I want to thank you all so much for watching to this team build video. And I will see you in the next video, whatever I'm going to make. Your Lola Nina Queens coach is out, and we will see you next time. Bye!